Hello everyone, and welcome to Learning Math with Minky. And today we're going to be learning one of the uh, great methods, uh, numerical methods uh, for the beginners, made by two people, uh, Ranji and Kara. Uh, I'll discuss it a little later. And the method is called Ranga Kara Fourth Order. So let's look a little bit about the theory. So yes, there were two people, Carl David Tolmiranga and Martin Kara, uh, who discovered their method by from Taylor series, surprisingly. You might remember from Euler's method, uh, studying Euler's method, that you also derived it from the Taylor series. Only, only thing that you did, you just took the first uh, expansion of the Taylor series. And here, they took the first four. And what they did, at the beginning, they had m multiple of unknowns, and they had 11, question, 11 equations with 13 unknowns, and by the end, they did discover this. So what it is, uh, you're going to be taking, uh, well, okay, you're going to be trying to approximate the next value of y, uh, taking the previous values of y. And you're going to be taking four increments of these values from the, your, your previous y and weighing them accordingly to approximate your next point. I'll just show you the procedure, how it, it's going to be in Excel, because you don't want to do four weights for one approximation by your hand, because that's very hard <laughs> and very tedious so if i can switch <laughs> so doing ranji kata method in excel is extremely easy and let me show how to do it so i've already set up a problem with a differential equation that is y prime equals to 2 times x times y i have my initial conditions saying that y of 1 is equal to 1 I have my increment step, which is 0 0.1, and our goal is to find the function at 1.5 using Rangakara uh, order 4 approximations. So, in order to approximate our next values of y, we need first to find our four weights, k1, k2, k3, and k4. So, let's find it. So finding k1 is easy because all it is is that you just use your function of your derivative, which is 2xy, with your values, with your initial values. So it is 2 times your values of x times your value of y. Great. We found our k1. Let's find k2. k2 here is a little is a little more complicated because instead of x, you need to plug in your previous x plus a half of your increment, and then for y, you have to plug in your uh, previous y plus half an increment times the first weight. So let's do that. We have 2 times our x, which will be our previous x, plus 0 0.5 times our increment, then times the y part, times the y plus 0 0.5 times the increment times the previous increment which will uh, the previous weight which is e3 which is hidden right now but here i am having it e3 is in here i i used my k1 for approximating the the weight 2 let's do the same for weight 3 we have we, we do the same procedure so we do two times our new x which will be our previous x plus 0 0.5 times uh, our increment h times our new y which will be y plus 0 0.5 times our increment and times our previous k, which in this case is f3. You can see that f3, I used the previous weight. And then for k4, we, we repeat the procedure. 
So, but instead of now half the increment for x and half the increment times the previous weight by, for y, you just have just the increment and just the increment and the weight. So it's 2 times x plus the increment times y time uh, plus an increment times now g3. Whatever ready F. Oh no. G three. What happened? Ah, I wrote Y instead of instead of this one. I, I wrote just Y. Interesting. Okay. So now I have my uh, first four weights. Now we're ready to find our next approximation for Y. So let's use the top formula from here to do it. So we do. We find the Okay, previous is B3 plus uh, our increment times, and then in parentheses we have K1 plus 2 times K2 plus 2 times K3 plus K4 divided by 6. And we have our next approximation. Isn't it great? <laughs> then, in order to find our next x, you remember uh, that our, our h is the small increments of x that we're taking. So now, what we do, we just add the previous x to the h. We have our next value for x. h doesn't change. Now, case will change and, and let me show you how to find them very quickly all you do you just drag it one down and oh my god you already have your values for k and all you do let me show you you just take this whole thing and you drag it down what just happened in here ah because these started increasing no 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 these are not supposed to be increasing And here you go. You approximate it up till point where x equals to 1.5, and you find your approximation for y to be 3.4902. And that's incredibly good. Let me show you how incredibly good this is. So, uh, from doing my differential equation skills, uh, I found an exact solution to this differential equation, which is y equal to e to the power of x squared damn it minus 1 so it is e to the power of x squared minus 1 Let's find values for this function. So all I do, I just take e x p. That means to the power of x squared minus one. Okay, we can see already that our values y and and this one. Let's do y exact. So that we know. Okay, all we do to confirm, let's drag it down and see what it is. And here we go. Look, the values for x equal to 1.5 are uh, fair to say that they're extremely close to each other, meaning that from well, from these observations, we can already say that hey, the uh, this approximation is not bad. The percent error here is very minuscule. Of course, because we're not going that far for the x's, we only did like five steps. But if we did 50 steps, we would probably get a discrepancy. But that's all right. And so here it is how to uh, make approximations with Rangakara of order four. And yeah, here you go. Have fun with it.